convertible laptops are gaining significant popularity due to their flexibility and adaptable designs. It's easy to see why. You're essentially getting two devices for the price of one. Who wouldn't love that? To make you even happier, Samsung and Microsoft released their flagship two-in-one laptops, the Galaxy Book 5 Pro and Surface Pro 11. Both are convertible, both feature Copilot plus AI, and they come almost in the same price range, which makes them direct rivals in this category. So which one is the best two-in-one laptop? The design of the Samsung Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360 remains very similar to its predecessor, the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360. It maintains a sleek, lightweight, two-in-one form factor that makes it highly portable for work or travel. Although it's slim, the aluminum body offers impressive durability and resists flex. As for connectivity, the laptop is equipped with a variety of ports, including two USB-C HDMI 2.1, a microSD card slot, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and a USB-A port for older devices. The Book 5 Pro 360 comes equipped with a full keyboard, including a numeric keypad for those who need it. It sports a 16-inch AMOLED screen with a 120Hz refresh rate. Samsung claims the brightness peaks at 400 nights in SDR mode and 500 nits in HDR mode. Based on our observation at Samsung's IFA booth, the screen performed quite well. On the other hand, the build quality of the Microsoft Surface Pro 11 is great, with a sturdy aluminum chassis that exhibits virtually no flex during use. However, its connectivity is limited to just two USB 4 ports, along with a Surface Pro keyboard port and a Surface Connect port. The Surface Connect port features a magnetic connection, much like Apple's MagSafe. This design allows the cable to disconnect easily, which helps prevent the device from being pulled off a desk in case of accidental tugs. Now one of the most notable updates to the Surface Pro 11 is the availability of an OLED display. Surface tablet displays have traditionally been good, though not exceptional. However, the old display takes things up a notch by delivering vibrant colors and excellent contrast. It does come with a higher price tag, an additional $500 over the base model. Still, the LED display is no disappointment as it features a crisp 2880 by 1920 resolution and the 3 to 2 aspect ratio improves the sense of screen space. To be honest, both devices are very handy and portable, but there is a slight difference. The Galaxy Book 5 Pro weighs 3.7 pounds and it's 12.8 millimeters thick. That's a good example of thoughtful engineering to make this device really comfortable to carry. Meanwhile, the Surface Pro 11 is even thicker than the Galaxy Book. It's 9.3 millimeters thick, and it weighs only 1.97 pounds, almost the half of the Galaxy Book. But there is a reason. At its core, the Surface Pro 11 is actually a tablet. Yes, it doesn't come with built-in keyboards. You have to purchase them separately. But the Galaxy Book is a full-fledged laptop with built-in detachable keyboards so it's obvious why the Surface Pro 11 is extremely lightweight. Now let's take a closer look at the specs. Samsung did a good job with the numbers. The basic variant of the Galaxy Book 5 Pro starts with 16 gigabytes of RAM that can go up to 32 gigabytes. The storage option is also good, 512 gigabytes to one terabyte. However, the real highlight is under the hood. Powered by the Intel Core Ultra 200V, also known by its codename Lunar Lake, this device marks Samsung's entry into the fast-growing AI-driven laptop market. As part of the Lunar Lake lineup, it promises enhanced performance and greater energy efficiency. Another notable feature is the inclusion of the Intel Arc GPU. While Intel's Arc graphics have received mixed reviews, it remains to be seen how well this particular model will perform. Then again, the Surface Pro 11's spec sheet shows some significant advancements that could impact performance. It comes with the high-end Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite processor. The Surface Pro 11 stands out in RAM capacity, beginning with 16 gigabytes and scaling up to 64 gigabytes if needed. And their storage options range from 256 gigabytes to one terabyte. So in terms of memory options, both of them are going neck to neck. 
the Samsung Galaxy Book. 5 Pro 360 is among the first laptops to incorporate Lunar Lake chips, which is expected to offer very fast performance and long battery life, as claimed by Intel and Samsung. Intel refers to this processor as the most efficient x86 model to date. Laptops featuring Lunar Lake are projected to provide outstanding performance and significant power efficiency for x86 applications. Intel also states that Lunar Lake ensures unmatched application compatibility, contrasting it with Qualcomm's ARM-based Snapdragon X chips, which can face compatibility issues with certain x86 applications. They state that Lunar Lake consumes 50% less power compared to its predecessor, Meteor Lake. It is also capable of up to 120 total platform tops when considering the CPU, GPU, and NPU. Intel further claims that the integrated XC2 GPU can achieve up to 31% faster gaming performance compared to Meteor Lake. For the last 11 years, the Surface Pro has been Microsoft's flagship representation of its vision for personal computing. Unfortunately, x86 chips consumed too much power, while ARM chips fell short in speed. This led Microsoft to create two distinct Surface models, a high-performance Surface with an x86 chip but poor battery life, and a slower ARM model that offered impressive battery life. But it seems like the Surface Pro 11 finally aims to bridge this gap. With the introduction of the Snapdragon X processor, it is the first ARM-based Surface Pro that effectively runs Windows and most applications without lag. The benchmark results are also good. In terms of battery life, Samsung claims the battery life is 25 hours. That's a very good number. Microsoft's official claim of up to 14 hours of continuous video playback is well behind the Galaxy Book. We will get the actual battery performance metrics of the Galaxy Book 5 Pro after its release. So the price of the Galaxy Book 5 Pro is $1699 for the 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte storage variant. And the Surface Pro 11 costs $1679 if we buy the bundle with the Surface Pro keyboard and Surface Pen stylus. There is not much of a price difference between them. So which one is the best two-in-one laptop? Well, that's a tough call. Both are great, and there is so little difference between them. The only factors that can make a big difference here are the processor and the Copilot Plus feature. Since the Galaxy Book 5 Pro is still not available in our hands, we don't have actual performance metrics for their processor. So it's safe to wait a bit and get an in-hand experience from the Galaxy Book 5 Pro. Let us know which one you think is the best in the comments below. Thanks for watching.